Hey everyone, welcome back to Bigelow Reviews here. I am Brent Bigelow and I have a new review for you. And that is Turnstile's third studio album, Glow On. Like I mentioned, this is Turnstile's third record. This is easily one of the best rock albums of 2021. Yes, I said 2021. I'm going back and reviewing some of the better albums from that year. Uh, that being, I did Silk Sonic, I did uh, Olivia Rodrigo's album, and now it's Turnstile's turn. So Turnstile's been around since about 2010. It really didn't become like super uber duper famous until 2021 with the release of this project. They released their first album in 2015 with the album uh, non-stop feeling and then release another one called time in space in 2018 and now we have glow on there's a lot of sources and a lot of media outlets out there that said this is one of the better albums of 2021 and easily one of the best rock albums i have to agree with that last statement so turnstile is signed to roadrunner records which is a rather iconic and legendary record label that's had some like really awesome bands on it that being like corn slipknot theory of a dead man event sevenfold Black Flag, Dragon Force, Dream Theater, Kiss, Megadeth, The Misfits, Young the Giant. That one's sounding the weirdest out of all of them. <laughs> the one band that signed to Roadrunner Records that I believe Turnstile has a closer resemblance to, and I've seen live in concert to know the difference, is the band called Higher Power, which is a really awesome alt-hardcore punk group that kind of has the same sound as Turnstile does. <laughs> Uh, they come from Leeds, UK. They're really awesome. Check them out if you like these guys. But when it comes to Turnstile, the the album is a really enjoyable listen all the way through. Like it's it's the perfect length. It's like 35 minutes or so. The only problem I really have with this album is a lot of the real more traditional rock and hardcore tracks on here. They sound so similar that they kind of like mush together in my brain that like I really can't pick out like a single standout track. Maybe that's a me problem, I don't know what, but like when it comes to me putting my thoughts and everything out there, that's really how I feel. I listen to this thing all the way through about t almost 10 times <laughs> because it's been out for so long and like I haven't really picked out like a song that really stands out in my brain. The only thing that really stands out when I think about it are some of like the weird Latin influenced rock songs on this project. Those songs being Don't Play and Endless. Those are one of, a couple of my favorite songs on here just because they sound so different. The more traditional rock songs like I was mentioning like Mystery, Blackout, Holiday, Wild World, Dance Off, they all kind of have this like same style, same sound, same formula. And like don't get me wrong, they all like really kick ass and they're all super great. But like just the way they don't they don't really pop. Like there's nothing to it that makes them extremely memorable. I think I just made up a word, rememberable. I like it, I'll, I'll keep it. <laughs> but it's really hard to like think about this album and really review it because like everything just kind of sounds so similar but it all sounds so good and it all works. Like I said, all the songs I've already mentioned are really good, really great tracks. The only time like the two songs on here that really don't work are the songs where Blood Orange is featured. Those songs being Alien Love Call and Lonely Desires. And Alien Love Call is like one of the better out of the two. But the album overall is really well produced, really well put together. Uh, I like these guys a lot, but it's just like I said, like, I don't know, something about it, they all kind of sound too similar. Like I can't figure out the difference between uh, Mystery and then Blackout. Like they all, they kind of sound the same, but the first half of the album is super good. Like the first like six tracks, uh, everything kind of like goes right into each other. They almost sound like they could be one song. But their influences of sound where they, like I say, they have that Latin thing going on in these two songs. Uh, there's a lot of like, almost like really super dreamy effects on the vocals on all these songs where the lead singer's vocals are super reverbed out where they kind of like carry on in the mix. It's a really interesting style of music and just the way they perform and how, how unique their hardcore punk alt rock thing is. It's, it's just drastically different than everything else everybody's doing. But hopefully since they kind of like reformed the sound on this project, maybe on the next one, everything's gonna be a little more diverse and I can actually like think of a memorable song that really stood out, here, stood out on here for me. But as of right now, I really like this album all the way through. It's a good listen. I recommend you checking it out. This sounds like a negative review, but I really like the project. Um, I give like a score of 83. I'm really struggling with this one. What do you guys think? Please put your score down in the comment section. I want to know what you guys think, if I'm just crazy or, or whatnot. But uh, make sure you like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel. Uh, follow me on Twitter at Bigelow Reviews, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Biggie out.